Control Center was designed to be your one-stop tool for controlling various settings on an iOS device. Over the years, however, it became a crowded mess, with up to three panels of different settings. With iOS 11, Apple has totally redesigned Control Center to be more concise. And aside from a few permanent buttons, you can customize Control Center to your needs. Here's how. To customize Control Center, open Settings, Control Center, Customize Controls. A list of various options will show up, each with a green plus or red minus sign next to it. Tap on the green icon to add an option or the red icon to remove an option. Use the familiar three-line handle on the right side to change the order in which items appear in Control Center. You can swipe up from the bottom of the screen at any time to view your changes. If you add more controls than can fit on your iOS device's display, you can scroll down to view more. Of course, the new shortcuts are welcome additions. However, Apple has added even more functionality to Control Center than a simple app or settings shortcut button. Regardless of whether your iOS device has force touch, most Control Center options offer added features if you long press or apply pressure to the display. For example, if your device has force touch, press gently on the timer control to quickly create a timer for a set amount of time, or long press on brightness control to make an adjustment and control night shift. If you're missing a quick setting for airdrop, press on the box holding all the connectivity options, which will reveal airdrop and personal hotspot settings. In other words, when you add a shortcut to Control Center, don't just take it for what it is. Use force touch or long press on an icon to reveal even more settings. For more tips and tricks and other how-tos, be sure to check out cnet.com forward slash how-to.